On this episode of Trying Vegan with Mario, I am continuing my mission to find some exciting plant-based foods that could help me convert some of my non-vegan friends. And today I have somebody coming in from the UK, from Wales, at Gaz Oakley, the avant-garde vegan, is gonna be teaching me how to make an avocado rose. And he is gonna teach me how he makes some of the most beautiful vegan dishes, such deep flavor, such incredible combinations. Can we just cut some clips of some of this guy's footage and some of the recipes from his new cookbook? Lost in, baby, I've been getting so lost in. Everything about you be flossing. Wanna be with you to the coffin. I'm lost in. And then another guest from my show, Nikki, is gonna come and join me in my kitchen. She's gonna let us know how these avocado toast taste. And, and then I'm gonna have my special guest, Jillian. She's been cooking with me for a while. She's gonna come in and teach me a little bit about her expertise and how different types of foods can improve your mood. All that when we come back on Trying Vegan with Mario. Now you may have heard that eating more vegan food can be better for your health and it could be better for the environment, but I'm here to make sure it tastes good. Asking how I made this bowl of vegetables, got so much soul. Whoa, in the kitchen, try vegan with Mario. Welcome to my kitchen, man. Thank you so much. Yes. Nice yes, so excited to have you. It's good to be here. Yes, LA. welcome to LA. So, can you tell us a little bit about where you're coming from and, and how you got into plant based foods? Yeah, so I'm from Wales in the UK, little country next door to England. Um, I've been a chef since age 15, and I recently went vegan about three years ago, and it literally changed up my cooking completely. I started a page called Avant Garde Vegan on Instagram, and then on YouTube, and it literally blew up for me. I'm very surprised uh, that it did, and so grateful for all the opportunities and being here today. And I've also done a cookbook, well, I've done two cookbooks now. I think today we're making my avocado rose on toast. Yes, all right, avocado toast. We're taking it to the next level too. First up on top of the toast, I'm gonna make a simple hummus. So obviously hummus generally made with chickpeas, very cheap, and I'm assuming you've got these from a can. It's lemon, so okay. I'm gonna add a nice, good bit of lemon juice. So we got our uh, lemon, chickpeas, garlic. Okay. Um, I just add one clove. Okay. Let's we'll see how it goes. Taste it out. Yeah, I'm gonna get some tahini in there, which is so important. Made from sesame seeds. This adds a real richness yep. to the hummus. I like it. Salt and pepper, as I said, really important. Let's get some of that in there. Okay. I just added some paprika there for a little bit of a kick. I love paprika. And I'm gonna add a nice glow of olive oil and use extra okay. virgin oil, uh, olive oil for this. Nice that. Yes. And if you want to keep this recipe oil free, just don't add any oil. Obviously, just add more water. Okay, now we're going. Now we're going. Right, that's my hummus done, okay? As I said, that's the nice base. We got our basic hummus, just a couple ingredients, super simple, but that's not why I brought you here. We're, we're trying to go next level right now, and we're about to see if we could put together this famous avocado rose. Can you tell me first, uh, what do we need to look for in our avocado, and what do we gotta do to get started on this? Good question, so it needs to be quite firm to touch, but kind of springy at the same time. You don't want to rock solid. The most important thing is a good knife. Now this is Mario's knife. Feels okay. <laughs> Some nice slices in this avocado. They need to be very thin, okay? so that's why it's very important to have a sharp knife. Okay. And you just want to spread it into an avocado wall. Oh, avocado wall. Okay. Just roll it. And at this stage here, I've, I've formed it into the rose, and then I just press it down to, to open it up. We got our avocado roses. Now, what do we got to do next? So it's all about taking your avocado toast to the next level. And a way of doing that is just by getting some good oil on the bread and then get it in a pan rather than a toaster. And that just really gets a nice crisp golden color and a lovely flavor to the bread. So simple way of doing that is get some olive oil on the board and dip the bread in. So we'll take this bread, coat it in olive oil, and we'll just throw it on a pan and let that sizzle a little bit. It does catch quite fast. Keep an eye on it. I'm going to prepare some garnishes to go on top. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got a nice bit of toast here. Get some creamy hummus on top. Okay. Maybe it's you, maybe it's me, maybe it's something in between. Maybe it's love, maybe it's us, maybe it's everybody else. Maybe it's you, maybe it's me, maybe it's something in between. This is probably the most fancy. There you go. That's my uh, wow. avocado rose on toast. You guys. Wow, you've done something incredible oh, here. Thank you. All right, oh my, dude. <laughs> the past, dude. Yes. I enjoyed it. yes, thank you so much for teaching me the rose. I clearly have some work to do. And when we come back on trying vegan with Mario, I'm gonna show you my recipe for avocado toast and then we'll have our guests come in and let us know how these taste. Uh, I got a lot of work to do. Uh, avocado toast with a beautiful rose on top. Awesome. First thing that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make naked tomato and make the texture and flavor a little bit more interesting. We're gonna create a little X on them uh, and that's gonna allow us to peel the skin. So we're gonna create this X, we're gonna put them in hot water, the skin is gonna to start to peel, we're gonna take them out quickly, chill them, and then we're gonna peel the skin off. Taking them and little X's, a little goes a long way with these so you don't need to make too many. Get your water to a boil and then turn it down. You're gonna drop them in and we're gonna watch really closely as this happens. It's gonna take about 20 or 30 seconds but you're gonna to start to see some of the skin peel off and that's when you know you can take them out, chill them, and then you could start peeling off the skin officially. As you can see, starting to peel, cold water. You can see they're starting to peel. We're gonna let these chill for a little bit longer start peeling some of these tomatoes. So you wanna help me out with this a little bit? All right, so, so yeah, we'll just peel the skin off and then we can put the finished ones in this right here. When I went vegan three years ago, the reason I went vegan was because I watched one YouTube video uh, by an activist called Gary Yurovsky who made me go vegan overnight. And he talked about the, the health benefits, he talked about the ah. uh, cruelty to animals and the effect that you know animal agriculture is having on the planet. So. Uh, those three things literally made me go vegan overnight. Really? So oh, just overnight, like just just like that. Before yeah. that, you weren't eating plant based at all. It wasn't even something that was super I was interesting to you. Eating a, a bodybuilder's diet. I was, oh my <laughs> I was training every day in the gym, eating around five thousand calories a day. Lots of animal protein. Um, oh wow! Went, five thousand calories a day. I went from that oh. to uh, a vegan diet overnight. Okay, just a pan of olive oil. And some of this pink Himalayan salt right here. A bit of balsamic. Place these gently on here. You wanna find some of the smaller ones. These are those little bursts of flavor. He made an avocado rose, so I had to kind of come in and, you know, give a little jab at him and we got some edible flowers right here. We're going to the next level. <laughs> going to the next level. <laughs> and here we have our two avocado toast recipes. Done. Boom. All right. So when we come back, we're going to have our special guest, Nikki, come in the kitchen and let us know how these avocado toast Taste, we come back and try and be with Mario. <laughs> Boom, look at what he made right here. So what, what do we got right here? So this is an over the top fancy avocado and toast, hummus, avocado rose, and beautiful garnish. Boom. <laughs> and it's just Good, perfect. perfect. It's time to invite our third guest in the kitchen to judge and let us know what she thinks about our creations. So I'd love to welcome Nikki. Come on in. Welcome to the Trying Vegan with Mario Kitchen. Oh, I hope you like avocado toast. Yes, I love avocado You do? Okay. All right, who, who doesn't? How about, Gas, we have you explain what we had made for Nikki today? Yeah, so I got my caramelized toast with the hummus on top, the avocado rose, and some beautiful garnishes, and I've kindly 
cuts out a few to make it easy yeah. to buy. Thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, that was a good call. And then Nikki, right here, I got my these lovely, delicious naked tomatoes. You strip the skin off, you add a little balsamic and some salt and olive oil, and just kind of change the texture a little bit. Yeah, please. Oh. Mm. I like that it doesn't have the skin. It yeah, cool. it's an interesting like pop, a little. It makes it like, mm. easier to eat. Very fresh tomatoes here. Right? Mm -hmm. It's in LA because mm -hmm. of the sun you've got. You get beautiful tomatoes. So. I'm gonna sneak in and grab a bite as well. I'm gonna grab one too. Mmm. Wow. It is so good. It has like mm. multi layers of yeah. taste. Yeah. And then like the lemon sneaks in there a little bit. Yeah. It's very good. rich and bold. Yeah. Great. So, Mario, I like this. <laughs> it was good. Oh, this one's amazing. What? <laughs> And LA could probably charge like $32. Okay. Maybe I need to open a restaurant here. Right. Okay. I wouldn't be charging $32 for it. Before <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me on Trying Vegan with Mario. Thanks and you guys, yeah, you're so welcome, man. Stay tuned for more delicious, healthy, plant based, exciting vegan recipes on Trying Vegan with Mario. Welcome back to Trying Vegan with Mario. I got an incredible spread of some of my favorite vegetables and plant-based foods. We got peas, beans, hearts of palm, chia seeds. I'm gonna show you how we can make kale a little bit more palatable, a little bit more enjoyable, and have that be a segue into you starting to enjoy eating more salads. And then I'm gonna have my special guest, Jillian. She's been cooking with me for a while. She's gonna come in and teach me a little bit about her expertise and how different types of foods can improve your mood, and different types of lifestyle changes that ultimately just get into the best physical, and now we're talking the mental shape of our lives through the food that we're eating, and she's gonna teach me an incredible recipe. I am so excited to be on your show. I've yes. been watching your full journey. I'm so excited to learn about how your body is transformed, how your life is changed oh my in a God. positive way. Just eat good, feel good, I'm noticing a lot of changes. We got a couple of good recipes today. We're gonna start with a kale salad. Perfect. As you can see right here, we got quinoa, chia seeds, walnuts, dates, flax, nutritional yeasts, lemons, lemons ginger, oh. turmeric, all of the most wonderful yes. things that you could put inside of your body. Food, right. is Food is medicine. Food is medicine. Food is medicine. So the first thing for this recipe that we have to do is we got all these other ingredients around here and I'd love if we could just kind of go back and forth and pick and choose what we want to add to this kale salad. Yeah. And I'm actually going to grab the oranges. Yep. They're a natural antidepressant. Yep. <laughs> so if you're having any type of a down day, grab an orange. Oh. It's a very instant tip. It's instant. an instant trick. It's right at your grocery store. I think the next thing that I want to add to this are chia seeds. Yes. We're going to go with chia seeds. High fat, high energy mm, chia, seeds chia seeds right here. So a lot of runners will eat a ton of chia seeds before going on a run because it'll absorb water and that then it will so slowly hydrate your body over time. Yeah. You love the chia. I love the chia. When I was a kid, yes. it was all about chia pet. Yes. As an adult, it's all about chia seeds. There we go. There we go. There you go. Bam. It looks delicious. Oh, all right. This We're just getting so going. Good. We're just getting going. Um, I'm thinking the hearts of palm. Oh. They're really high in copper and zinc. Okay. So copper and zinc is so good for supporting moods. You need both together and balanced in order to support your neurotransmitters so that you could properly have okay. good balanced mood. Why not incorporate different types of foods that can promote you to have more balance? And what I want to add to this are these roasted beets. They're so beautiful. Beautiful. I love the red color. This is actually a natural dye. I love it because yeah. we're never using food dye in my kitchen. You guys know that. Yeah. No food dye in my kitchen. Yeah. Roasted beets. Right. Let's just drop these in there. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I said let's add one more ingredient to this. I'm thinking we add in the quinoa. I love quinoa. This is something that I just always have around my house. It's my go-to meal prep. I'll make a ton of quinoa, throw it in the fridge, and I'll have a bowl of this almost every single day. Sprinkle it all on top. It's high in protein. It takes this salad to a whole other level. So that it actually fills you up. And it fills you up with the good stuff. Yes. Now I'm going to show you guys a really quick 
garlicky, kind of Caesar-inspired dressing. Grab a mason jar, that's all you need to make this. Mason jar and a stick blender, just a couple of ingredients. We're gonna start with some tahini, olive oil. This right here, this is aquafaba. This is actually just the liquid juice from the beans that we had over there. Uh, trust me, this aquafaba, something that you guys might fall in love with once you get more into plant-based cooking. But the ultimate part to this dressing recipe is this right here, roasted garlic. I actually made these the same way I made the beets, put olive oil, salt in them, threw it in the oven, 400 degrees for 45 minutes. So quick, so easy. Cut the tops off and right there is what you're left with. Here, oh my gosh, it it'll just, just like, so it'll just like squeeze out and just be so creamy like that. And we're just gonna add a bunch of those. In Italian cooking, yeah. I'm sure you know, <laughs> like there's no shortage of garlic. I was just like, thinking I'm that. trying to make my grandma proud on this yes. show. Yes! So I we're using, we're think using garlic, grandma. yeah. Oh, I love mm. this. So good. I'm gonna add a little agave as the last ingredient to sweeten it up just a little bit. Now I'm gonna give this a quick blend with my stick blender. And that is starting to look a little bit like a Caesar dressing yeah. with a color to it. Yeah. Boom. We got our dressing, we got our salad. There we go. Now is the magical moment. Ooh, Ooh baby. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. All right. A turning motion is always good when you're uh, oh. Mixing a salad because it grabs all the goodies from the bottom and it brings it to the top and it evens out the oh. dressing. Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> no. let's, let's serve it up. Yes. We're making vegan plant based food fun, interesting, exciting, creative, mm -hmm. playful, and of course we gotta make sure this tastes good. Yep. My favorite part. My favorite part. Let's dive into this. Mm. Mm. I love it. It's nutritious and delicious. Nutritious and delicious. It's cheesy and corny as that sounds. That's what we're it doing is, here. Nutritious, though. delicious, yes. creamy. All right, Jillian, I think we crushed it with this salad. Just a couple of things that are sitting around my house at all times, figure out ways to just stock your house with healthy food so all you can eat are healthy foods, get a little bit creative, and mm -hmm. make this stuff taste good. Crush this kale, kale salad, dig in. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> For the full recipes from this episode and all my other episodes, visit tryingveganwithmario.com. Thanks for watching. Asking how I made this bowl of vegetables, got so much soul. Whoa, in the kitchen, trying vegan with Mario.